Quantum dot laser, an electron dance party. By Justin Hurd and Justin Cowan. There are three types of quantum confinement that we are going to be talking about for electrons and holes. The first is the quantum well, where the electron is able to move in the x and y direction, but is constrained in the z direction. In a quantum well, there are two degrees of freedom for the electron. The second is the quantum wire. In this nano wire, the electron is only able to move in one direction, therefore has one degree of freedom. The third, the one we'll be focusing most on, is the quantum dot which is confined in all three directions. Because of this, the quantum dot has zero degrees of freedom and the dimension for each side is approximately the Bohr radius of the atom. Next, we'll look at the energy in a semiconductor. This is a diagram of the available states that an electron can exist in. There is a gap between the conduction band and the valence band that no electron can occupy. The Fermi energy is the level at which half the electrons have the energy to exist above it and half below it. The energy band gap is found by subtracting the lowest energy level an electron can have in the conduction band and the highest that it can have in the valence band. A hole is the particle that is created when an electron leaves the valence band and enters the conduction band. Now we'll talk about the excitation and emission of electrons in atoms. In the Bohr model of the atom, the electrons rotate in their orbitals around the nucleus. When a photon comes in and interacts with an electron, this causes an elastic collision and causes the electron to jump up a discrete energy level. When the electron goes back to its ground state, a photon with the same energy will be emitted. Now for the excitation and emission of a semiconductor. When a photon interacts with an electron in a bulk semiconductor, the electron jumps up to the conduction band and leaves the hole behind. Eventually the electron will recombine with the hole and form another photon of that same energy. Quantum dot lasers are fabricated through epitaxial growth of quantum dots on substrates and layered in the structures. Quantum dot lasers are an improvement over the quantum well lasers in that quantum well lasers only can find electrons and holes in one dimension whereas quantum dot lasers can find them in all three. Quantum well lasers are also inexpensive. They offer higher performance with a lower threshold current and higher thermal stability. These are expected to be used in optical networking and local area networking. Quantum wells are great at reducing photons, but quantum dots are better. 